What's up, people? Welcome to the Dunham Report. I have two stories I'm going to be doing here. I'm going to put both of these stories into one. One takes place that happened last Friday evening out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, to where this 40 year old man, this unarmed black man, was shot by the police. All because his car broke down on the highway and as he's walking away from the police all the man was just looking for some help to help get his car off of the road but instead of doing it as he's walking away with his hands up in the air the police shot him anyway to where this brother died at a local hospital let's watch this video This guy's still walking. They had the following commands. Not for Taser, I think. That's a, got a feeling that's about to happen. That looks like a bad dude, too. To be honest with them. Which way are they facing? Police one, they're facing westbound. Uh, I think he may have just been tasered. Shot fired! Um, the first caller uh, informed that a male ran from the vehicle saying it's going to blow. Um, remember Officer Shelby is en route to another call, but she comes across this at 741, uh, found it abandoned in the roadway. Uh, she, she informs the dispatcher uh, that she's having, not having cooperation from the person there, and I'm not going to get into more detail on that. Uh, that will come out later. One shot was fired uh, by Officer Shelby, and a taser was deployed by Officer uh, Tyler Turnbow. Uh, I'm going to tell you right here now, there was no gun on the suspect or in the suspect vehicle. I want to assure our community and I want to assure all of you and people across the nation who are going to be looking at this, we will achieve justice. You all want to know who that big bad dude was? That big bad dude was my twin brother. That big bad dude was a father. Mm. That big bad dude was a son. That big bad dude was enrolled at Tulsa Community College. Just wanting to make us proud. We're demanding today, immediately, that charges are pressed against this officer that was incompetent, that took my brother's life. We're demanding that and it's time for everybody to demand that this stops and that justice is served. 40 year old Terrence Crutcher died at a local hospital from his fatal gunshot wound that he received by 42 year old Betty Jo Shelby who is on paid administrative leave. And she has obtained an attorney for her case just in case uh, charges might be filed against her which they should but I have a feeling the state's probably not going to uh, charge her it's probably going to have to take the Justice Department maybe to step in on this because I see some civil rights violation occurring regarding this situation but I also have more videos I have to show uh, their protests out in Tulsa over the death of Crutcher and and I got some more stuff because like I said I got another video I'm going to do I'm going to put them both together and I'm also going to show you some pictures of the deceased uh, brother uh, Terrence Crutcher and I'll also show you a picture of the female cop Betty Jo Shelby the one who shot and killed Crutcher a group of activists and community leaders are gathering outside the Tulsa County Courthouse to protest Terrence Crutcher's death. The 40 year old was fatally shot by a Tulsa police officer on Friday. Two Works for You reporter Jitzel Puente is live outside the courthouse with what is going on there, Jitzel. 
Daniel, more than a dozen protesters were outside here, the Tulsa County Courthouse, demanding justice, holding up signs, shouting, don't, uh, hands up, don't shoot, demanding justice in Terrence Crutcher's death. He turns his back to the police. Hands he walked back to the police. He, he turns his back to the will be done, Lord. Now, that was one of the protesters who saw the dash cam video of Friday's incident in a private showing by TPD. The protesters were asking for transparency in the investigation of Crutcher's death. They say it's not about residents against law enforcement officials. It's about ending police brutality. Some of these protesters were from the We the People Oklahoma, an activist group that holds authorities accountable. One of the leaders from the Intact North Tulsa Advocacy Center talked about his friend Crutcher. He said he was a family man who attended church. He's a generally good person. I have no understanding what went on that night, but I happen to know that this is a person that did not deserve to die. For whatever he was doing out there, it wasn't a crime being committed that much I'm sure of. He says Crutcher was on his way home from a night class at Tulsa Community College on Friday night when he was shot. The 40-year-old leaves behind four children. Now, some of these protesters you saw on the video will be back here at the Tulsa County Courthouse at 4.30. They are part of We the People Oklahoma press conference that will uh, talk about policy it recommends for the Tulsa Police Department. Reporting in downtown Tulsa, Jitzel Puente to Works for You. Here is a photo of Terrence Crutcher, who died by the hands of this female officer, Betty Jo Shelby, who has gotten an attorney just in case. Now, now back to a, another story that took place out last week in the New York, New Jersey area, to where someone planted two pressure cook bombs one which went off and injured nearly 30 people the suspect 28 year old Ahmad Khan Rahani of Elizabethtown New Jersey was gotten to a, to a shootout with police which police shot him in the shoulder in which Rahani survived and was taken to a local hospital and booked into the jail now I have a problem with this but before I go any further I'm going to show you a picture of Rahani and to show you a clip of what his father had to say about his son because he reported two years ago that his son is a known terrorist he reported this to the FBI and the FBI ignored him so Let's watch this. Here is a photo of Ahmad Khan Rahani. And also here's another photo of him being taken to the hospital. And let's hear what his father has to say about his son. Two years ago, I called the API. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Must sound really bad, really bad, okay? Oh but they check it. The investigation is still going weekend. on, guys. We, he's okay. We don't know he's close. He's, he's not. Watch he's not terrible. Okay. Now he says he's a terrorist. Okay. Why did you call the FBI two years ago? What happened? You're doing bad. You're doing bad. Why did you do bad? He stopped my son. He hit my wife, and I put him in the jail two years ago. Who's he? What son did he stab? Uh, okay, what, how, what happened? Why did he stop? That was for no reason. Okay, getting up from going And with your wife, you said? Right. And what? Uh, what did he do to your wife? Hmm? What did he do to your wife? Well, no, my wife is not here. Okay, I'm going now. Did okay, you? guys, let him go through, please. Thank you. When did you talk? Did you, did you talk to the FBI two yeah, years yeah. ago? When did you talk? Two years ago. Two months ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, Mr. Officer, you said you talked to the FBI two years ago. What did you tell them? I told them, you know, you told them what? <laughs> now, this is where I have a problem with this. You're going to tell me that you going to shoot an unarmed black man for no reason at all, especially when he had his hands up in the air. He's walking away from you. And if he's walking away from you, he's not posing a threat. You could have tased that brother. You could have tased him if he was disobeying your commands 
walking away from you. Then he didn't have a weapon on him, nor in his car. You could have tased that brother. But you let an unarmed terrorist who shooting at you, you only pop him in the shoulder, take him to a local hospital and gets treated. And that's it. You don't shoot to kill him, but he was out shooting to kill you. What's wrong with that picture? You know, uh, these race soldiers, these slave catchers, they do nothing but harass people. Not all of them, but some. But some. You know, and it's a damn shame that me, as a black man, is even scared to even walk out, walk outside my door there, because fear of getting shot by the police for no reason. You could be could be walking to the corner store minding your own damn business. Yeah, and I have a problem with this. Crutcher doesn't get to go home. He doesn't get to live to see another day. But this terrorist Rahani does. He gets to live to see another day. But not this brother. And he was shooting at you. Shooting at you. Crutcher wasn't shooting at you. But still he gets shot to death. And some of you on this thing about. If you don't like what's being said. If you don't like how things are being ran. Go back to Africa. Well, why don't you go back to Europe? Go back there. Because this doesn't belong to you either. If anybody should be telling us to leave here, it should be the Native American Indians who discovered you. That's right. They discovered you. You turn around, you tricked them with alcohol. Then you started killing them off. You took this from them. Then you try to make them slaves in their own country. Try to make them slaves in their own country. So, well, why don't we all pack our bags and go? And give this back to them. Which, my people didn't take this for the Native American Indians. You did. You did. And another thing too. Get your foot off Colin Kaepernick's neck. Get your foot off his neck. But you ain't going to do that because you hate to be proven wrong in what he's doing. And some of you blacks out there, some of you blacks that are part of the elite want to get mad with him when he says something about it. And the thing about it He's part black. He's part black. He's not fully black. He's part black. But he took a stand. He took a stand about the injustices. Or what's going on with black people. But when he does this. Some of y'all want to get mad with him. Don't disrespect the flag. Don't disrespect the flag. Man fuck that flag. Fuck that flag. But that's what happens. When some of you become the elite you got that status you got that you got that big time status but you know OJ Simpson thought he was one of them too and look what happened look what happened so don't sit there and don't think that that they won't screw you either fuck with one of them and see what happens to you They'll bring you down just like they did O.J. Simpson. Like they try to do Michael Jackson. Which eventually, when he got when he got his fucking catalog from Sony, look what happened to him. I still say somebody in somebody in that organization had him killed. And another thing too, a lot of you. Folks always want to say, well, 
You, you, you niggas are killing each other. You're killing each other. Yeah, but something happens. Somebody goes to jail when they're doing it. But like I tell my black people all the time, we need to stop the killing. We need to stop the, the jealousy that we inflict towards each other. That needs to stop. But I'm still upset on what happened to this brother. This brother didn't deserve that. He didn't have a weapon on him. He was walking away from you. Why would you shoot him? All because his car stopped in the middle of the fucking road. All he was looking for was some help. To get his car off the road. And if he did stuck, stuck his hand in the car. You could have tased him. It wasn't like he had a gun on him. And he didn't have one on him in the car. So I hope that his brother gets justice. I hope his family gets justice. But I got a feeling that the state is not going to prosecute this cop. The Justice Department is probably going to have to step in. And press charges against that cop. Some civil rights were violated here. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Dunham TV News. Also check out my website. The Dunham Report.com Always. Uh, it would be nice. Uh, donate wherever you can. You can, all, you, you can donate through PayPal on my website. Until the next time, good people, I'm out.